In this lecture, we're going to look at the preparation of carboxylic acids. By the end of this lecture, you should be able to explain how carboxylic acids can be prepared from primary alcohols, aldehydes, nitriles, esters and amides. So far, in the section 2.4, We've covered, after the introduction, we've done alkenes, haloalkanes, alcohols and ethers. So now we're going to tackle carboxylic acids. And as always we're going to start with how are those carboxylic acids prepared. And there's four or five different ways in which we can make carboxylic acids. An awful lot of which, in fact probably all we've come across already. So the first one, or sometimes people count it as two different methods, would be the oxidation of primary alcohols or the oxidation of aldehydes. And this is something that we've came across in the higher. If you have a primary alcohol and react it with a mild oxidising agent, like a certified potassium dichromate, you go from the primary alcohol to the aldehyde and that can be further oxidised to by the same reagent, acidified potassium dichromate, to the carboxylic acid, ethanoic acid in this case. Remember, it's only a primary alcohol that will oxidise eventually to a carboxylic acid. The secondary alcohol gets oxidised to a ketone and no further, and the tertiary alcohol doesn't get oxidised at all. So it's got to be a primary alcohol or an aldehyde in order for the oxidation to produce a carboxylic acid. The second method which you've come across a lot is the hydrolysis of an ester. So here's an ester here, when you hydrolyse it you break this bond here, stick an OH onto the carbon with the double bond O to produce our carboxylic acid and an H onto the OR group to give you the alcohol. This could be carried out by either acid or hydroxide catalyzed hydrolysis. So you've come across that plenty of times for making the hydrolyzing ester to produce carboxylic acid and the alcohol that it was made from. third method is also hydrolysis, but it's the hydrolysis of a nitrile. So in this case we're breaking the C triple bond in and sticking an OH on there to produce our carboxylic acid. So you might be thinking, oh I remember seeing this somewhere else. We came across this when we were looking at reactions of haloalkanes. Now, if you had a haloalkane and you reacted it with the uh, ethanolic cyanide ion. Remember it's ethanol, ethanolic because you didn't want water to be around, because if you had water around the halogen would be replaced by an OH to produce an alcohol. You get nucleophilic substitution, the CN substituting for the halogen given you R, C, N. And then it was mentioned previously but we'll just reinforce it now. So then the acid hydrolysis of the CN bond can give you a carboxylic acid. And the final method is the hydrolysis of amides. And you've come across this idea before uh, we're looking at digestion of proteins, which is hydrolysis of proteins, and proteins are just like biological amides. So here's our amide, the C double bond O, NR or NH. When we hydrolyze it, we break the bond there, stick the OH onto the carbon, given our carboxylic acid. Okay, 
So you have come across all five of those methods before. So that's just a reminder of all the different ways that we can make carboxylic acids. So by now you should be able to explain how carboxylic acids can be prepared from primary alcohols, aldehydes, nitriles, esters and amides.